This product right in front of me is called the Doc Case, and you might have seen it on Unbox Therapy's channel. And honestly, if Unbox Therapy took the time to review this, it's got to be either really whack or really good. I'm just glad that I'm in the same context as he was, because this was sent to me. This one's for the 13-inch MacBook, but I'm going to see if it works with my Razer Blade Stealth 13-inch. On the Windows, right away, just touching this. I mean, I don't know if it's real leather, but it feels really grippy. All right, in the back it says beta version. So pretty much the same thing what he got, I'm getting, but in 13 inch form. We have double-sided USB type C. And what's in here? Just the start guide letting you know how it's gonna work, how to connect it. This thing is light. It does not feel heavy. We have an ethernet plug, HDMI, Thunderbolt type C, three USB 3.0s, SD card slot, and a micro SD card slot. Nothing else on the right side and on the left side there is a type c plug something that these laptops are getting rid of for slimmer designs actually like a mouse pad yep it is so you set that down if you use a mouse my razor blade stealth is fairly the size of a macbook pro and i'm going to be plugging this in to see how it works and slipping this inside because i have carried it and uh let's put that in and Okay, it's actually going to be a little bit too big for the sleeve to be covered completely, but definitely won't be slipping out because it has this little catch here. Really soft inside, actually, and it has a little magnet. So now, I'm going to set this on top of it, but I'm going to move it to the other side just so we can use this cable, which we'll be plugging into here and plug it into the back here. So here we go. We have it plugged in. It made some noises, and I do see that there's a light. There's a light indicator in there. Hopefully you can see it. Now the Razer Blade Stealth is missing SD card, it's ethernet plug, and it only has two USB ports, but we do have an HDMI port, but that's it. But now that I have it all plugged into one little port, like a little docking base here. So if you plan on buying a MacBook or one of these laptops that don't have these essential ports, you can get this little dock here. Of course, I'm gonna improve it and then stick that in there. The light turns on, so there's a little green flash, and now my laptop told me that something got plugged in. And then here I can see all my cards. I'm, let me unplug it. It's gone. Plug it in. Pops right back up. That's nice. Now I'm going to just use the micro SD port. Okay. Just tuck it in. There we go. Pops up. So we can tell all these ports are going to be working. And the front plate is aluminum. I can feel it. Yep, definitely aluminum. Pretty much this is a huge hub in a little pouch form where you could carry and protect your device if you're gonna be moving around with it. Obviously this is not for the Razer, but you get the idea the Mac 13 inch will fit in here and it will flap over um, the Razer. I was hoping that it would be, I knew it was a little bit longer, but I didn't know how deep the pouch was gonna be. All right, so you got your dock case here and then you're gonna get to your destination. You're pulling out your laptop. In this sleeve, you can actually hide the cable and pull it in. Pull it in. <laughs> now you have a little surface there. And now it's gonna come to plugging in. And now I'm gonna start plugging everything in. Galaxy 8 charging. Now I've had this keyboard forever. I haven't even opened it yet. It's heavy. It sounds clicky. Oh. The switches come off. Plugged. Whoa, look at this thing. I'll make a review about this later. Link in the description as well. Don't need to plug it into this. It's just more testing if everything's working and it's still functioning with the computer. Third USB, and this is for my Huawei watch. And it just plugged in and it's charging. So all the USB ports are taken. Now we have two USB-Cs left. And what that means is we can plug in to give it power and it is charging. So before this power cord was plugged in, everything was still being ran by the internal battery of the laptop. You got the HDMI and ethernet, of course the SD and micro SD card slots. So lastly, plug that in. And what is my, com there we go. Just plugged it in and right away, everything that's being plugged into this dock is working just fine so if you're looking for something to work with that is all functional nothing wrong of course this hub is going to be for the laptops who don't have 
all those ports. This is not the final product. They even say it here so it can improve and maybe they'll make it a little bit different and more for different laptops after they see maybe my, in case they weren't gonna do it for this, maybe they might think about it now. And yes, I've had lots of comments about when is the final review gonna be for this Razer 13 2017 edition. I know I've been pushing it off for a long time because I've been super busy. It's summertime and I'm the least active in the summertime, but I will tell you that I am happy with this purchase. It's doing everything I need it to do, and I'm glad I have it, and I'm keeping it. But I will tell you that it's not a gaming machine. If you're thinking you're going to game on this, it's literally a super expensive Windows laptop that I can actually edit on. But gaming, you're going to do it in low settings. But I'll explain and show everything on the full review when I'm officially ready for it. <laughs> All right. So there you guys have it. This is a dock base. If you think this is something that you would like to try or want, find the link in the description for this product. Thank you dock case for sending me this for a review. I'm glad I'm on the same radar of unbox therapy. Alrighty. And I will see you guys next time. Later.